Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we will see a presentation now with me. I will bring uh, beautiful photographs from Antarctica and Arctic. If we go this way to north, we go Arctic. If we go this way, we will go to the Antarctica. So today, I will take you to the both polar regions because I did this and I am also at your young age like you and I step up to Antarctica, the icy continent, and I step up also in Arctic for the scientific expeditions. Now you will see a book in the picture. So its name is Robinson Crusoe. I know you read it and also I think you have favorite books. This is my favorite book from my childhood. It has dreams and it has an imagination. He did an adventure on the oceans and he living on the island. So I think that I want to be a Robinson. So I go to the uh, maritime high school when I was at your age. So I became a captain to travel the oceans. After that, I go to the university and also I upgrade my captain license to travel all of the oceans. You know that there are five oceans now. So I stepped and sailed in all of them. So I my, so my story will inspire you. I hope that in the end of the, this expedition, this presentation, I hope that we all together go to an expedition to the Antarctica. So after that, uh, when I am taking my maritime license, I go to a Erasmus program to Poland. That time changed my life forever because I see the sea ice for the first time. Can you imagine that? An ocean completely frozen. That happened when I was at your age, at your age in Erasmus in Poland in the 2013. I go to the Baltic Sea and the sea was frozen, so I step up on it. So you can see me in the right up picture. So I am walking on the sea. After that, when I was turned back to my country, I said, I told to myself that I will never see again the sea ice because it is impossible to happen in our countries. So. I started to travel the world. I saw the Somalian pirates. I passed from the Suez Channel. I passed from the Gibraltar. And I saw pollutions on sea by ships. And also I saw shipyards, huge waves, sandstorms, the all over things that you can see in a documentary. After that, I find some, something in my heart. It's missing. It was science. I found it and I came to the university uh, to become a, a scientist. Uh, to do that, you can see my route from uh, in just in six years. I traveled many oceans and do many things. So this is my life story from starting a book to the Antarctica. I came to the Istanbul Technical University and I started um, research on the polar science for Antarctica and Arctic. And our Turkey started its first expedition in 2017 and I joined it. And also we started the first expedition of Turkey to the Arctic, to the North Pole, and also I was in there. I am the youngest researcher who attended the first expeditions of our countries to the polar regions. But we are working for the polar things in our country, so can you imagine that? There were three high school students with me two months ago in Antarctica. Is it lie or truth? It's the truth because we are conducting many expeditions as Turkey to the polar regions, so you are our scientists to work in polar regions. After that, I educated myself in Korean Polar Research Institute, and also I educated myself in Netherlands, in the Delft University, to understand the, what is the sea level rise, what is the main threat of the climate change, so I will share the, my learnings with you now. So, if you look at the Antarctica, you will see only the whiteness, just the ice, everywhere is ice. And also you will see a southern ocean surrounded the Antarctica, it's also completely covered with ice. And if you look at the Arctic, there's an ocean, there's a huge Antarctic, Arctic Ocean, it's also covered with sea ice. So the sea ice is so important thing, but we are not seeing it in our countries or in our lesson books. So. When we look at the Antarctica, when we understand the Antarctica, that the Antarctica is ruled by Antarctic Treaty, nowadays there are 54 countries uh, conducting research on Antarctica. But in Arctic, there is an Arctic Council, only eight countries can rule the Arctic places. So the both polar regions, we call them polar regions, but they are completely different. Because in Antarctica, you cannot explore oil, but in Arctic, you can do that. 
In Antarctica, you cannot put your or dump your waste, nuclear waste, to the continent. It's completely forbidden. But in north, this is not happening. There is too much waste on the Arctic Ocean. And the last thing, there is no war happened in a one continent, and also that's Antarctica. So you can see in our research in a paper, there will be no more explorations uh, for the oil or gold in the near future in the Antarctica. So Antarctica is the best place you can see and the peaceful continent that every human being can live on it. So the aim or the message of the Antarctica is the continent will share its peace with the other continents. After that, I go to two times to the Antarctica. One is 2017 and the other is two months ago. I was in Antarctica. So everything changed. The climate changed, the glaciers melting, the atmosphere is changing, there's a global warming and also there's global cooling. So we call it climate change. Climate is always changed. As we humans, we just stuck on that. We say climate changing. But everything is changing because the, uh, the Earth has very long age and everything is changed. So in Antarctica, we conducted seven Antarctic expeditions of Turkey and this is our, our laboratories, our Turkish stations in Antarctica and you all can go there and work there because we took teachers, we took high school students, we bring uh, many people, the scientists or the other people, other researchers to this island to work for science of the peace of the world and science of the Antarctica. So you can see our research paper to what we did in Antarctica. We found new type of algae, we found new type of bacteria and others. We have four automatic stations we are, while we are talking in here. Our stations are taking measurements from the parameters of oceans, atmosphere and other things to understand what's the climate change, what's happening in the past of the Antarctica and what's the happening of the future. So I would like to uh, tell my story, a good story in here to you, to share with you, because everybody will say you, you will not do this or you will not um, complete your dreams. Please don't believe that. This is my childhood story. When I was in secondary school, our teacher gave us a homework. She said, please prepare a presentation about your favorite animal. I prepared my presentation about whales, huge ones, whales. I go to the school. And I make my presentation and everybody laughed. So everybody must say, oh, what is this about something like this? So this is the picture that I took in the Arctic. It is the king of the Arctic, the polar bear, the biggest carnivore in our world. And in the left, you can see the Antarctic emperor. It's called emperor penguin. It is the tallest and heaviest species of the penguins. And also, I have many pictures. I have. Uh, race with a boat, with an orca, the clear whale, killer whale, and also I saw Hampex, the blue whales, the, all the other ones, so I think who is laughing now? So don't let anyone to interrupt your dreams, so please make your dreams bigger and bigger, and put your horizon to the Antarctica. That's the thing I would like to share with you today. And this is the sea level rise, we have glaciers, and the our country, our world goes into ice age and this ice age happens in thousands of years. It's a natural thing for the earth. It's like just breathing of the earth. So when the ice age stopping or the, in the melting, the sea level rise. In Karadeniz Sea, in Marmara Sea, that's happened how these things happened. It with the sea level rise, the glaciers are melting. I took a photograph three years ago in the Arctic, in the right side. They gave me a prize for the picture, but the prize is good, but the name of the picture or the story of the picture is not a good. Because the, the, because the anthropogenic effect, the anthropogenic effect is the human effect. Because of the human effect, we are melting these glaciers too many times faster than the normal, the nature, normal nature standards. So you will see on the right side a world map you, do you think, is it right? It is the, our future world map. Everywhere will be get flooded because the sea levels will be rise. So the tip from this picture, if someone is going to sell you a summer house on the coastline, so don't buy it. And we have a, I started my journey from a book, from a foreign book, it is the Robinson Crusoe, to the polar regions, to the, all of the oceans. So I prepared two child books, uh, which you can see in the background. 
I put a book to our youngers, our children to get a dream about it and go to the polar regions. So I hope that in future we will see each other in polar regions. So uh, if you ask me how I um, complete these things, it's just need three things. One is the hard working. You don't need to be clever. You just need to be working too hard to, for your dreams. And other thing is reading a lot. You should read everything you need. And if you get bored from a book, just throw it away and go to other books. Because there is trillions of books that you cannot read all of them. So choose a book which is good for you and read it. And the other last thing is you need a mentor or a good dream. If you have a good mentor or a good dream, you can go to the end of the world. Thank you for listening and see you later in the polar regions.